Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Shortcut to Sound Effects. Uh, I'm your host, Chris Farmacilli, and we've got Anthony Bruno behind the camera. Hello! You recognize that Mrs. Delphire's here? So, if you've never seen an episode, basically what we do is we go out and we record sound effects. But I'm not talking about, you know, the run of the mill stuff, put some celery in your mouth and punch yourself to get that bone breaking sound. Who I'm does that? <laughs> A lot of people do. I mean, oh. I do it before I go to bed every night, but. So strong. We try to we try to get you know weird stuff, stuff that you don't think about every day. You know, random stuff that sounds really cool. And I happen to hear stuff happening all the time that I'm like, wow, that's amazing, and I want to record that. And today's episode is going to be particularly a, a strange sound and something that if you <laughs> when you hear it, you'd be like, oh wow, I think you can do what you're trying to do with that. But you wouldn't hear, you wouldn't think that otherwise. But anyways. Um, yeah, I'm glad you joined us and let's go ahead and jump right into it. So before I go into all that, I want to kind of tell you a story of how I'm able to hear things like this and kind of point them out or should I say pull them out of my environment and then turn them into sound effects that are completely different than what the original source sound is. And the way it started for me was, I don't know, it was like maybe 10 or 15 years ago, uh, a buddy of mine, me and him went backpacking through Europe and we were in somewhere in Rome, right? And we're walking around and we stumbled upon some kind of outdoor market, some kind of farmer's market, but they were selling jewelry and other stuff, not just food. And you know, we didn't know anybody. We're just lost walking around. And as we're walking, I stopped and I said, I was like, listen to, listen to everything that's going on around us. Cause in a market, I mean, if you've ever been to a market like this, there's sounds happening all the time. And I was like, stop and listen, what are, you, what, what are you hearing right now? And obviously you hear all the people talking, and when you have a bunch of people talking, it turns into what's called wall. It's just like blah, 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 right? You have that stuff, but you also have all this random things happening, like machinery and, and <laughs> babies crying. I don't know, just all this weird stuff that makes up an ambience. And I stopped and I was like, how come no one's, no one's like taking notice of how all these weird sounds that are happening? And the reason is because as soon as you step outside or into this environment, it may be strange to you at first and you're, you're, you're hearing it, but then it just kind of washes out into the background. Your brain gets used to it and no longer is really paying attention. You still hear it, but you're not paying attention to it anymore. And I was, and I was like pointing this out to him and, and we're having a revelation right there together <laughs> in the middle of some Roman market. And I was like, how come no one's hearing all this stuff? Do you hear it? And, and I started pointing things out to him. Listen to that, listen to this, listen to that. And he's like, oh yeah, I do hear that. And so I was like, man, let's play a game. And so I said, let's try to create some kind of sound. Let's make some weird sound that's going to be completely foreign to what we're hearing right now. Something that is going to catch someone's attention. Let's make people stop and be like, what, what's that sound? Where's that coming from? And so, and so we stopped and we stood there. I was like, what's your sound gonna be? He's like. <laughs> something like that and I was like okay what's my sound gonna be my sound's gonna be like <laughs> something weird I don't know <laughs> and so I mean the, the the goal of the game was to not yell not not you know get people's attention like hey look at me but make some kind of weird sound that someone actually is like what is that stops and isolates it from their environment and so we were walking down the street doing this and it was just hilarious because people were not paying attention, but some of them, some of them stopped and were like, what is that? What is that? So it actually works. It's a really cool game that you should play at some point. But anyhow, that was when it started for me. That's how, that's when I started really, you know, I don't want to say isolate, but hearing things that stand out around me. And, and because of my experience in working in, uh, in audio and sound design, I'm able to hear things and say, wow, I can turn that into this. You know, I can process that and turn it into a monster roaring or I could turn that into something crazy, right? This is one of the examples and I'm going to show it to you right now. And before we do, I kind of want to break down our setup here. We're using the condenser mic. We got it kind of close to the counter because this is the surface that we're going to be using. I got it going into the iRig Pre and then into my phone, which I'm using the Shure Motive app, which um, I've tested a lot of these apps and this is the one that I'm using currently. I might find another one that I like better later, I don't know. I got it set to 48K 24 bit. The higher the sample rate, the better for this particular sound because the sound I'm gonna be showing you, I would heavily process it. I would be doing pitch shifting and oscillating all kinds of weird, crazy stuff. 
So anyways, let's do it. Let's get into it. So my son, my two-year-old basically was taking this knife and he was dragging it across the counter and I instantly heard spaceships flying by. I heard like Star Wars kind of pods, you know, in the race. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna hit record. Press the mic. And I got a heavy knife and I got a light knife, right? And so I'm gonna do five passes of each type of sound that I hear. The first one's just gonna be a regular flyby, right? Just a regular flyby. What's that flyby? <laughs> <laughs> We know how to do math. Okay. We went to college. Did we? <laughs> Don't ask that. Oh, I also have these here just to kind of isolate the sound to get less reflections, you know, off this wall here. Because I have metal surface here. I don't want it too, too much, too metally because I'm not using it as a metal sound. So here's the, here's the lighter weight knife. Okay, so here's. You did say five. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even joking. Okay, so here's where, here's where um, it gets cool. Like you can add a transition into it to give it like a Doppler effect. So right as I pass the mic, I'm gonna flip the knife over and it'll give it kind of a transitional Doppler effect. Try the heavy knife. Yeah, that sounds good. Man, that sounds like some type of monster. <laughs> that self-modulation knife. And you can even accelerate and decelerate. So let's let's let let's go from slow or stopped to fast. See how that sounds. Let's go from fast to, to slowing down, like to just try to come to a stop. That was cool. I like that. Try a slow one. So, that, I mean, by itself, it might not sound too much like that, but once we get it into Pro Tools and we start applying the processing, that's gonna sound like a pretty badass spaceship flying by or some kind of some kind of sci-fi motorcycle or it could be some kind of door opening maybe it's a maybe it's a door opening in a in a spaceship star trek door i heard i picked that out as my son was doing it and it's because of the game i played and also because you know just doing this so many years you hear that kind of stuff but you know if you guys want to play that game i, I highly recommend you play that game you know go out and go out in a mall or something or go out into a market and and make some weird sounds and don't cheat by you know doing something that's hey look at me kind of thing do some kind of weird sound and see how many people stop and actually like pick that sound out and um, I mean we can call it I don't, I don't know have a name for it but what can I, how about this if you're watching this on Facebook right now how about you I mean leave a comment what, what would you call this game what would you name a game where you're going out and trying to make weird sounds to get people's 
attention to try to get them to hear that sound over all the other sounds that are happening. What would you call that game? So put it in the comments. Maybe in a future episode, we'll, we will um, you know, vote on who had the best name and then we'll go out and play this game. Like maybe we'll go uh, somewhere, you know, I don't know, a wedding reception. That's a terrible <laughs> idea. Probably the mall. Probably the mall. <laughs> and, and we'll play the game. So yeah, that'd be that'd be really awesome. Why don't you try to come up with a name for that game? Cause um, I don't know, but I'm the inventor. You better give me credit for coming up with that game. Cause I was playing that 15 years ago. Thanks for watching this show. And if you want these files, just click the link, and we'll give you the files, the you know the the original source files of this. And also, when you do click the link, you'll see that you can just enter your email, and we'll send you all the future episodes. You'll get notified every time we do one of these episodes, and you'll get the files for them. So you'll just be building your sound library for free with all the stuff that we're doing and we do some pretty cool stuff so yeah if you want the files just click uh click the link and if you're watching this on facebook then like us you know like everything we do like our you know comment you know show us some love and some support so we can keep doing this and um anything you want to say uh bye bye <laughs> <laughs>